What's going on guys? It's Kyle. Welcome to the Stock Goat YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be covering the SoFi stock. Most importantly, we're going to be covering the overall market. The market is getting extremely hit right now, and we know that it is due to massive negative catalysts inside of this market, which is, you know, the COVID new variant and also, you know, inflation uh, data that's continued to get talked about from Jerome Powell every other day. So a lot of volatility inside of this market. Once again, I want to say sorry, I could not do a video yesterday. I had to go to a high school basketball game for my little brother and the game did run extremely long. So I did not have time to film a video, but we are going to be doing a video today because this is one of the reddest days inside of the entire stock market for 2021. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. This channel will bring you confidence inside of the market. Remember, all this volatility is short term. We will bounce back and, you know, investors will continue to make money inside of the stock market. These are definitely dip buying opportunities, which we're going to talk about in this video. And be sure to drop a like. Let's try and get this video past 50. 1500 likes be sure to drop a comment are you buying sofi stock on these dips what is your price target heading into 2022 let's get into the video all right guys we're going to keep it very simple there is some negative catalyst effect in this market the coronavirus we are about to hit what is it guys two years of non-stop fears and people are still selling off like there's no tomorrow when this type of news breaks out i think the media will push COVID for as long as possible, you know, to get, you know, views and make money, you know, ads. This is part of the game. You just need to know how to play it. So we could see uh, COVID variant in California. We got CNBC pushing hard. And we also have CNN uh, Omicron case reported in the U.S. You know, you cannot battle CNN and CNBC inside of the stock market. They are going to beat you to the death every single time okay what you need to do right now inside of this market is just be patient i agree today was amazing buying opportunities but sometimes you know it's better to let the market stable out just a little bit before you get in so you do not buy that uh, falling knife that non-stop falling knife you don't want that you want to get dips but you want to get confirmed dips you know confirm reversal so tomorrow may be a great buying opportunity depending on how this news gets absorbed but uh, we're going to talk about the overall market once again. Taking a look at the SoFi stock, guys, we were up 4% today, guys, 4%. I was listening to the fireside chat with the CFO, uh, Chris, and it was very solid, guys. It was a great uh, side chat. You know, SoFi is looking solid. And remember, right now, the stock is detached from the company fundamentals. This stock surged 15% the day of earnings and then sold off 30% plus. So the good news is we know that the earnings were solid. Otherwise, the stock would have not been going up that day. And then we had the news of the insider selling and stuff like that. These are amazing buying opportunities heading into 2022. We did sell off about 5.5% at the low point today. We did touch, I believe, uh, maybe 1625, 1626. So that was the low point. And guys, if you think SoFi had a bad day today, that was nothing. What I'm about to show you is insane volatility, guys. I'm talking on the verge of stocks crashing. So if you think you had a bad day in SoFi with a 5% dip, guys, take a look at these dips. Elastic, Okta, Moderna, Upstart, Cloudflare, uh, Salesforce, Toast, Twilio, and Sentinel-1. Look at these dips. 16, 14, 12, 12, 12, 11, 11, 8. 9, DoorDash, 9, C Limited, 9, Roblox, 9, Lemonade, 9. These are insane dips right now, guys. And I'm not saying these aren't great companies. I think all of these are great companies. But right now in this market, I feel the most confident with the SoFi stock. Why do I feel the most confident? SoFi has no supply chain issues. We are a 100% digital product guys we will thrive in COVID because our number one competitor which is you know brick and mortar banks they are going to have troubles with this COVID fears if it's going to last an additional year nobody wants to go inside of a bank and remember guys there's no reason to go inside of a bank if you have a 100 digital bank SoFi is having a nice bounce after hours and i'm looking to buy you know this week most likely tomorrow i wanted to let that fear settle down a little and remember guys my average right now is 16 dollars, so i am getting very tempted to buy right now i do like you know the buying opportunities right now but i have to be very cautious with my money because my funds are extremely low i have to be completely honest 
my funds are extremely low and I can't just buy the dip for nine months, you know, like Kathy Woods, you know, on Teladoc, Zoom and Robinhood. I just can't do that. So I have to be very cautious with my money, but I will definitely be loading up if we get into my average again. Once again, my average is around 1620 and we hit about 1626 today. So I want to buy under my average and anybody that has a higher average, I started buying SoFi over $22, you know, six months ago. So I've actually averaged from 22 all the way down to 16. And you can see right here, you know, I have, uh, you know, 4,000 shares in this account. I have another account, uh, $18 average that I'm not touching. So I'm looking to average down from 16 if we do get a lowing, a lower buying opportunity. But man, this was a killer buy for anybody. I just have to be patient because my cash is a little bit low, but we could see a bounce and I will not be discouraged if we get a bounce from here. You know, I want this stock to go up. So once again, I don't sell out because Jerome Powell speaks. I'm, I'm not selling because there's a new COVID variant. I believe this company is going to be an amazing opportunity in the next, you know, couple of months, especially if we get a bank charter approval. So once again, there's tons and tons of great companies to buy. I mean, take a look at this, guys. There's an amazing buying opportunities going on inside of the stock market. It's just you got to narrow it down. And I really like the management and so far. I think all of these are great companies. Zoom, Robinhood, Lemonade, Roblox. These are amazing companies. I just feel most confident in the disruptor of banking right now. I believe SoFi's numbers are going to continue to accelerate. So once again, my price target, you know, with a bank charter approval, I believe the stock can hit over $30. We're already getting upgrades around 30 without a bank charter. I think it's going to take a little bit of time for this volatility to slow down with this COVID. But I think SoFi is an amazing buying opportunity right here. But I will definitely be loading up if we get below my average. Once again, if you made it to the end of the video, I want to say I really do appreciate it. I enjoyed doing this video for you. The stock market volatility is at the highest level of all of 2021. This was one of the biggest red days I have ever seen. I mean, we were almost looking back to like March 2020 a type of dips, man. So I'm very surprised that this COVID variant is freaking people out uh, as much as it did today. But guys, this stuff will all pass. Companies will continue to thrive that are having nice earnings. And we know that SoFi had an amazing earnings. It just sold off on the earnings. But the CEO said, you know, growth is about to accelerate into the fourth quarter. And those are the type of companies that I want to be buying. And I also want to be buying companies where the insiders are buying. So just be patient. I think tomorrow will be a great time to buy the dip, you know, if the stock market shows more stability. But don't go all in on your cash if you have cash. You know, next week could be a buying opportunity as well. I just want to buy this stock under my average. I have to be very cautious because I don't have unlimited funds like a Kathy Woods who just buys dips for nine months in a row. I want to get the lowest cost uh, possible with the highest fear possible. So you have three options right now. Do you want to just sell when fear is at the highest peak? You know, that's the worst time to sell. Uh, holding, it's not a bad idea if you know you don't want to put more money in. And then buying the dip is the third opportunity. And, you know, I'm all for buying the dip opportunity, but I want to make sure we have confirmation, you know, of more stability inside of the market because we never know what could happen, you know, with CNN and CNBC pushing these COVID fears. So be patient. Great buying opportunity tomorrow. Great opportunity today if you did buy that dip. Be patient. And remember, guys, all of this is short-term FUD. We've been around COVID for over two years. Make sure you're buying in on companies that have strong, strong earnings, strong, strong management, and have already put out a push for guidance higher. And guys, SoFi has done all three of those things. And I believe 2022 will be a great year for SoFi. Once again, my name is Kyle. Hope you have a great day.